as he makes his 20th UFC appearance. All right, let's get to the tail of the tape for this one. Alex Caceres, 30 years old, taking on the Rio de Janeiro-born Crone Gracie, who is also 30. Caceres, the taller man by one inch. He will have a three and a half inch reach advantage. All right, now to get us the introductions, we go to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding an undefeated professional record. Four wins, no losses. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, and now he is making his up to God debut, presenting Claude Gracie! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record. 14 wins, 11 losses, one no contest. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds, fighting out of Miami, Florida, Alex Bruce Levi Caceres! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Keith Peterson. Keith Peterson, our referee for this one. Alex Caceres. With nearly four hours of octagon time, taking on the UFC newcomer, Sir, representing the first family Sir, of mixed martial Fight. arts, Crone Gracie. And we are underway. Caceres out of the southpaw stance is in the black trunks. Crone Gracie, also a southpaw, is in white. Crone's gonna need to come forward early on a tall, lanky, tricky Caceres. He needs to come forward and create the, the clinch somehow. Grab a hold of Caceres, because Caceres is gonna stay on the outside and fake, 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 and keep Crone guessing. Gracie draws high praise for his work ethic, his dedication, and looked like he at least touched Caceres there on the feet. Well, he can throw whatever he wants and not care, because nobody wants to take Crone down, so he can just fire heavy strikes, heavy. One, two down the middle, lands on Caceres already. Gracie loads up on the right hand just out of range. And Caceres won't try any takedowns, so there it is. That's all Khan needed. That's it. Just, just one takedown, just one scenario where you can take the back of Caceres. And this is bad for Caceres right here, early. Caceres trying to fight hands about a minute into this one. Action right in front of us here. And right now, Caceres is working on the hands, which he should be. He's got to get the grips, get the hands of Crone off of him, and then start trying to turn his back to the fence. He's got to get his left elbow, sorry, right elbow, in between him and Crone. Crone takes the back while standing very slick like. So I mean, that's that not 90 easy. seconds in, yeah. And his positioning is so tight, John. Look at that. Look how he took the leg over the top of the body here. He's going to throw the body triangle in now. To an, it's like a half triangle. He's got to get his left leg underneath the knee of Caceres, but he's happy where he's at because Caceres isn't going anywhere. This is locked in and tight. And now he's going to fight the hands until he gets the choke. This is Damian Maya-esque is what you're seeing here. Oh, and there Caceres in a world of trouble early. First round finish Crone is what Gracie. he's looking for. Right away. That's in. That's done. Crone Gracie looking to tighten up the choke here under the chin of Alex Caceres. That's it, guys. And Caceres might go out before tapping. There's the tap. All he needs is one wow. takedown, and he can finish you. And that is what a jiu-jitsu specialist is. That is what the Gracies have always been. That is what Hani Yaya has been. And that is what Damian Maya has looked like. And this is the next stage in that culture. Jiu-jitsu and taking you down, and I will finish you. All I need is one. Beautiful finish by Crone Gracie. And he is certainly a proud representative of the famed Gracie family. But this is about Crone. He bided his time for his UFC debut. Man, did he maximize the showcase tonight. I mean, right away you saw this takedown, but he's got it behind the knee, and all he does is he goes to hook it, but he hooks underneath the opposite side of Caceres and then just goes with reckless abandonment for the takedown, gets it. Once he throws that body triangle in, starts sinking the choke in under the chin. That's all she wrote, like a boa constrictor. It's locked in. Chin is behind the ear of Caceres. Hands are locked down. Everything is perfect in that finish there. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Keith Peterson has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 
six seconds of round number one. Declaring the winner by submission due to a rear naked choke, Claude Gracie! What I'm here with.